Well, hello, this is Jack from 181 Days in Belgium, and today I'm here to talk to you about comic books. Stay tuned, it's more exciting than it sounds. Comic books are a really big part of Belgium's history. They're a really big part of Brussels' history, and comic books are a really big part of the Belgian identity. Uh, in Brussels here, there are more than 700 comic book artists and authors living, and it's the place where the most artists of comics live per capita. Brussels is huge on comics. When you go downtown, there are comic book murals everywhere. There's actually a route you can walk through the city to go see murals painted on the side of the buildings from famous comic books, which is what we're going to do today. But a little history on this first. Comic books got really popular in Belgium after the 1920s. Before that, there was a lot of French art coming in that looked like comics, but they weren't actually comic strips. Um, but in the mid-1920s, a newspaper here called Vintième Siècle, which is 20th century in French, started including a little insert, which was a comic. The comic was uh, drawn by Georges Rémy, who would go on to create Tintin. In 1929, he created Tintin, and Tintin became hugely popular. Now in Belgium, when you go into comic book shops, you can find a million different series that you will not find anywhere else uh, that are produced here. They're actually so popular that Belgium no longer produces outside uh, comic books here. They don't produce American comics here. They only produce Belgian comics, uh, which is pretty interesting. So today we're gonna walk downtown and go find some of these murals. So let's go do that. A style of Belgian comic art that has gotten really popular is this very realistic looking drawing and I think it's really neat. I really like this one.
This was the first comic wall I saw in Brussels, and I think it's still my favorite. Now one thing about Brussels is there are comic book shops everywhere. In a lot of places that you go in just sell comics, but you can find huge comic book shops almost everywhere that sell local comics and country comics. Now something you might not know is that the Smurfs are actually Belgian. They're from Brussels. They were created by an artist named Peyo, and he lived here and he worked here. In Dutch they're called the Strumpfs. Um, but you probably know them as the Smurfs, and they're very popular.